Welcome back to Blockchain Pill, my name is Alex and today we'll have a look at what's been happening on ICP the previous week. ICP has been consolidating at the current price for the past week. We haven't really seen a big movement in either direction. I think that with the Bitcoin spot ETF being released, the market as a whole is a little undecided and so is ICP. On the bright side, the RSI is looking like it has been cooling down. So in my opinion, we are looking primed for a move to the upside. What is cool is that we've seen some of the volumes flow or at least start flowing into the NFT ecosystem on the Internet Computer Protocol and we'll discuss the reason why in today's episode but we can see here on NFT Geek a huge increase in NFT trading volume. Meme tokens on the other hand are starting to cool down a bit for the time being it looks like we are starting to rotate from meme tokens and basically ecosystem tokens into NFTs and let's get into the reason why this rotation is happening. Earlier last Last week, Sonic Dex announced a Motoko Goats token airdrop and the collection floor price doubled in a few days. In my opinion, this may very well be the biggest ICP airdrop of 2024. For the people who are just hearing about it right now, we released a video where we went more in depth about the subject, but here is a quick summary. Definity Foundation, the company building the Internet Computer Protocol, has airdropped a 10,000 NFT collection named Motoko Ghost. The collection is designed by the renowned artist Jonathan Ball, the founder of Poked Studio. So Motoko NFTs are basically the face of the Internet Computer Protocol and the community decided to do a one-for-one -one token airdrop to the holders of those NFTs and Sonic will assist with the airdrop, LP creation and whatever else is necessary. To be eligible for this airdrop you'll need to hold at least one Motoko NFT and make sure that it is not listed for sale on any NFT marketplaces. If it is listed for sale unfortunately you will not qualify and you will not receive your Motoko tokens. So be very careful and check your wallets, make sure that none of your NFTs are listed. Bitfinity Network, a next generation EVM serving as a Bitcoin layer two built on the Internet Computer Protocol just finished an investment round raising $7 million. Bitfinity says smart contracts can hold and transfer Bitcoin and ordinal assets on chain using the Internet Computer's threshold signature scheme known as Chain Key. If the lessons learned from Ethereum are anything to go by, many users will prefer a low cost sidechain or layer 2 to run their transactions and this is what Chamberlain, the founder of Bitfinity, concluded. These kind of solutions are necessary because we've seen the huge fees on both Ethereum and Bitcoin basically making them unusable for new users. That is a problem. We need to be able to onboard new people and I don't think that new investors or normies will ever pay $50 fees or $100 fees to be able to do stuff on either Bitcoin network or the Ethereum network. So those scale solutions will be necessary and I think that Bitfinity here is one of the better ones. Dominic Williams and Jan Kamenich will talk at the Web3 Hub in Davis 2024. Dominic, the founder of Definity, will take the stage on January 17th and talk about how blockchains are reshaping our world. While Jan, the CTO of Definity, will take the stage on January 18th on the panel called The Sustainability Landscape Applications and Challenges for Technology Solutions. Whenever Dominic or Jan talk about the Internet Computer Protocol, it usually makes for really great conversations and I'm really looking forward to see them talk at this conference. Definity introduced the latest developer group grantees and they are IC Service Bus, a service that enables canisters to easily publish or subscribe to shared topics without detailed knowledge of each other, Tabby POS, a cash register terminal that supports cryptocurrency payments, Committable, which provides a platform where developers can authenticate their contributions, mint and manage their projects and claim rewards, and Inverter, an audited repository of reusable smart contracts for customizable protocols. And to those projects, I say welcome to the ecosystem and we'll keep an eye on the development and cover you guys in the future. If you are not aware, the Definity Foundation offers developer grants to teams that want to build on the Internet Computer Protocol and those grants range from $5,000 to even $100,000 depending on the size and scope of your project. So if you or your developer friends have a cool idea that will help the ICP ecosystem, make sure to look into the Definity Grants program and apply for a grant. You can find the link to the Definity Grants program in the description below, so make sure you check it out. BTC Flower Generation 2.0 was announced. The launch of the NFT is expected to happen on January 23rd. There will be 2009 NFTs in the collection and it will be mintable in 24-hour windows with 
different tiers. Usually all the artwork and all the NFT collections made by Ludo have seen great success and have been received very well by the community. So I think the best bet to be able to secure one of those beautiful NFTs is to be in the higher tiers just to have a chance to mint one. Ludo is working with the Bionic Ordinals Marketplace and Generation 2.0 holders will be able to claim a free reserved ordinal around the end of February. Moreover, Generation 2.0 NFTs will be stakeable earning seed tokens for its holders. And let's have a look at what the SNS projects have been up to. Dragons announced that they will soon mint the final amount of SNS or DKP total supply. If you're a regular watcher of this channel, you're familiar with the meteoric rise of the Dragons token, which went from one ICP up to almost 1000 ICP per token due to the extremely limited supply. Because the team wants to use the Dragons token as in-game currency, having a bigger token supply would help the in-game prices have a more familiar look and not be like 0.00001 DKP for one health potion, for example. I'm a big fan of this change because cheaper token prices coupled with bigger token supplies are usually more normie friendly. Many people would be unwilling to pay $600 for 0.1 DKP, but they will happily pay $600 for a million DKP, for example. Dragons was recently mentioned in a Cointelegraph article focused on Web3 gaming. Donna Powell, the co-founder of Dragons, says that Web3 developers need to crank up their creativity to push the boundaries for Web3 games, so much so that players should not be able to tell the difference between regular games and Web3 games to which I agree. We need to get to a point where the games that the Web3 communities develop don't only push the game because it is Web3 and they have NFTs or tokens connected to it, but because the games are fun and people actually want to play it and not just for the monetary gain. And lastly, the team updated us on the progress of the character creation screen, which they are making more user-friendly. Boomdao launched a proposal to activate the quarter one roadmap. The main takeaways from the announcement are the following. This marks the beginning of the early drop for early supporters that registered at the launch of BoomDAO as well as the launch of the Boom Gaming Guilds and Analytics Dashboard. The most exciting part of the announcement is the BoomDAO's game onboarding kickoff, which is basically the onboarding of the first ICP games to the BoomDAO ecosystem. So we're finally looking at the very first projects that will join the BoomDAO ecosystem and start leveraging the BoomDAO tools are Toyo World, Pause Arena, Elementum, and plethora. This is super exciting news and I'm looking forward to see how those games will communicate with one another and together start and build the gaming ecosystem of the Internet Computer Protocol. And finally, one of the OG projects on ICP, IC Lighthouse, a fully on-chain order book decentralized exchange, has announced its intent to launch an SNS decentralization swap. Solid State are currently in the process of auditing IC Dex as announced in their Definity Forum post and the ICP community has received this news very well and are looking forward to this SNS. We have been using ICDEX to track and to trade various tokens throughout the past years. I'm looking forward to see this SNS and so is the entire ICP community. And with that, we're done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.